Hi everyone, I'm Kate Rudolph and I am here today to show you a superpower that I have unlocked. So I have often said that you should get some books from ebooks from the library if you can't get them at your local store or anything like that, but I've never really explained how to do it and I just figured out something really awesome at my local library and I want to share it with you. So I'm going to share my screen and show you what I do. Everything won't be exactly the same because it's all local, but the same concepts will probably apply. So I have pulled up my local library's website to show you the digital resources that I use and how you can get audiobooks and ebooks from your local library. Now all of this is local, so your library is going to look different. Uh, the wording might be different the how you access things might be different but the concept should basically be the same so i'm on my local library's website and i'm going to go to digital resources and here i can see download books movies music and more again might be different but mine says digital resources so that's what i'm going with and today what we're looking at is overdrive now overdrive Libby and Hoopla are all services that make ebooks and audiobooks available, but I found out this cool little thing, little trick in Overdrive, and that is what I'm going to use to show you today. So then we click another button, get ebooks, audios, videos, magazine. We want to get the Overdrive app. Now we're not actually going to the app, just to make that confusing, but this is kind of how we have to do this on my library's website, unfortunately, where we have to go through all of these things. So what I really want to do is browse my library's OverDrive catalog. This isn't just the regular OverDrive catalog, because if I go to that, it's not going to show me what my library has, and it's not going to allow me to request books. And that's the real thing. But the cool thing is, OverDrive has apps in a bunch of stores, as you can see here, and Libby is an app powered by OverDrive that allows you to read ebooks and listen to audiobooks on your phone. So, you, as you can see right there. But we're going to click and browse the OverDrive catalog. So, my library participates in the Indiana Digital Download Center. So, a lot of libraries in Indiana participate in this and you know, probably gives them more buying power or something. So I can see that they have all of these popular books available and I could just click on this one right here and, you know, I can immediately borrow it. It will be available on my e-reader or I can get it on my phone or I can read it in my browser right now. That's awesome. Uh, it's supposed to be a really good book. <laughs> so, uh, but the library doesn't have anything, everything. So if, for example, I was going to search for my own name, it's going to say they can't find any matches for me. Makes me sad. Uh, but they actually do know who I am. And so if I click, you know, didn't, didn't find what you're looking for, then I can go to see all. And that's going to bring up a list of all of these titles that I have released or, um, or you know, have been released with my name on them. Um, they're not owned by the library, but they can be purchased by the library. So I'm going to go to Hunting Season, which just came out. It's really good. I like it. You should read it. And so what I can do here is I can click Recommend. And... What that does is that recommends to the library that they purchase this book. It's not a guarantee and it's not immediate. Um, but I have done this about four times in the last month. You get five recommendations every 30 days, and I think it's a rolling 30 days. So, you know, basically you, get, you can recommend five books a month and uh, within 24 hours of every time I have recommended a book, I have gotten an email notifying me that they've purchased the book. 
So if you want a book from me or another author and you're not sure about whether or not you can, you know, about purchasing it, you know, your budget's taken up for now, I really recommend if your library uses OverDrive and you have access to this recommendation feature that you use it because it's amazing. And if you can't figure out based on this video how to do it, just contact your local library. Librarians are super helpful and they will tell you how you can go about recommending books because I'm sure they have a process because they want to get people using these services because the more people use these kind of services, the more they get funded and the more they can expand and do more. So this is how to request eBooks from your library, audiobooks too, using OverDrive. And again, it's going to look a little different just because this is the Indiana Digital Download Center. And if your library doesn't use the Indiana Digital Download Center, which, you know, there's only, that's one state, there's 49 others. Um, so however your library uses OverDrive, if they do, and it's quite likely because OverDrive is a very popular company for supplying library books. Please figure out how to use this recommendation button and go ahead and let loose and recommend away and get all the books that you want to read. So yeah, library books, they're really fun.